We are live. Oh man. Rocky road to start the day. But we are finally in the car. Man, look at in the back seat. We've got Texas uh, Chewy. We have a special friend. Yeah. So, Chewy's going to take on Texas. So we are headed. We've got 17 hour drive ahead of us. Well, the first like seven. Seven, yeah. Thankfully. And we're going to. Um, we're heading to FEIC. If you guys are heading there too, um, look forward to seeing you guys there. But yeah, we're, we're heading out to FEIC. I'll be, uh, me and Michael are speaking Thursday morning. We got a special uh, dinner on Wednesday night. We'll be setting up. So we're super excited. So yeah, we're gonna be stopping in Kentucky. Uh, yeah, so be hey, great. Mark. Yeah, hey Marla, hey uh, Riley, put that hat back on. We can't wait to see you. Texas Chewy. <laughs> he's, he's got the Texas Chewy hat on. Lots of 
So if, if you're willing to watch, we're going to be willing to like <laughs> kill you. our time, which is great in the car, you know, to help kill time. You know, from great. just boring driving. Hey, Blake's still free to chat. I know, Blake. <laughs> Dude, you should be coming, man. It's, it's actually even further from you. So I've got 2.5 miles before I meet this special guest. So, um, the hint is we're still in Ohio, so I'm going to be meeting this special guest. So there's a good chance they live in Ohio. And I'm going to give you another guess, or another hint, I'm sorry. Is that Rolling this Rolling ready. Rolling ready? Uh-uh. This Not person. yet. So we're going to FEIC, but this person isn't yes. going to FEIC and um, he but, doesn't even speak on this topic at all does he's not interested in it so but he has no 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 it's too much too much <laughs> terrible you're terrible that was that was my hint <laughs> so I got you guys all over the place Liz would have just like given it away I'll and then and then 1.5 miles hint. it would have been just such um who was that wait a minute um, go back and scroll through those comments because it looked, I don't know who, okay, who said it. No, no, no. That way? No. Oh, no. Liz, you don't know how any of this works. Yes. Yes. Um, Very good guess. Well, actually, um, no. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, what? Give, give me the give, give me the Yeah, and what did you just do? You just, like, know. messed this whole thing up. All you do, Liz, Liz, all you do is scroll. Oh. Okay, let's and, and now you get rid of that thing. Okay. Well, Liz is going to get us into a Sorry. car accident. Nope, don't want that. Goodness, there Liz. We go. Get rid of that bottle. <laughs> Seriously, why? Oh, normal. Gotcha. Just oh. keep it normal. Oh, my. Okay. Nope, don't want that. Normal. Yay. Now go down. Okay. Normal. See, this is so common. <laughs> Somebody did guess it. It was actually a really, really good guess. And I think this oh, is my exit. Don't right miss here. our exit. We're this really is my good exit at that. Right here. And here we are, pulling up. Why don't you switch the camera around? We are, we are meeting at, we are meeting at Taco John's. I do not know how to get rid of this. Okay, yeah, this is like terrible. We can just, uh, just yeah. have some fun. You want more bubbles? Yeah. We can do a dance party. Riley wants dance Okay, party. so we are meeting at Taco John's. And so this guy um, really oh, loves... Oh, I thought we were meeting at Love's. Yeah, yeah Love's is Taco John's. When, when, here, if oh, flip, flip that around. If you, if you flip that around, see Taco John's and Love's. I mean, if you're going to eat where you get gas, you know, you've got some problems. Um, we used to do that, and it, it was always awful food. Okay. Even the subways. Well, so I'm going to be pulling bubbles. in... There we go. Here we go. Perfect. <laughs> well, somebody did guess it, and I didn't get to see who it was because Liz doesn't know how to, to throw through the text. I am looking for I this vehicle. I don't see. What does he drive? What does he drive? Like he drives? a Jeep Liberty with lots of cool decals. Yes. Where okay. He? He's not here yet. He's not here yet. So what we're going to do, we're going to pull around. Somebody did guess it. So... Um, I'm just gonna roll around, and see if he's in here. He's, you know, if he's here, he's probably eating Taco John's right now because <laughs> there's not a Taco Bell in sight. Uh, Marla says she knows Taco John's. Taco John's, yeah. I thought that was a, so something the, you made up. No, Taco John's. John's right here. Don't you? See, I, mean, I have never heard of Taco John's. So. Yes, JJ. It is Tom Dunn. It is Tom Dunn. So we are waiting here for Tom Dunn to show up. Is Taco John's like a gas station thing? So Jared Cressman. I know what it is. It's a gas station eating place. Yeah. Hmm. You I redeem. If they you have redeem, horse meat you as redeem, well. You redeem uh, your taco points for gas points. So every time you eat a taco here, you get gas points. Or you just get gas from the taco. <laughs> so we're sitting here waiting. That's the kind of vehicle Tom has like that. Yeah. But it's black. Uh, and navy, it's really... like navy blue. Why don't you pull right there? Okay. Yeah. Let's that way pull, we can, let's pull up we to this see. other. Let's pull up to this other guy who's waiting. So Tom is probably in. Um, he's he's probably in, um, 
at the real Taco Bell <laughs> grabbing lunch. <laughs> but uh, so Jared Cressman is going to be a speaker at FEIC. And so we are picking up um, the Through the Black stuff. We're going to be merch. taking all the Through the Black stuff to have a cool booth down there. A tablecloth and some DVDs and all sorts of fun stuff. So, yeah. So. Oh, why don't you get gas? We're going to get gas. Well, let's get gas when we're done with the video. Okay. You don't want to blow up. I mean, you don't want to use your phone. So is that a myth? Have you guys heard of that? No, it is not. I have talked to somebody. She, she believes that. No, I've talked to somebody. Somebody that I know, their work vehicle, though the, the, the truck may have had some issues, but it literally blew up and made the news. It blew up right at the um, um, pump. I think this is an urban legend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but that still doesn't necessarily keep me from being on my phone when gas is being pumped. You know, I take my chances. Tom D Dunn knew we were on a really tight schedule. He, we made he made us come all the way out here, which is an hour out of our way. No, that's, let's hope he he actually remembered this is um, the place. So, Chris, yeah. why don't you share a little bit of what you'll be talking about? I don't know if I want to do that just yet. Well, snip it. Well, me and Michael, we're going to be talking about the history of the globe deception. And we're going to walk you guys through um, sort of a timeline of, you know, how we got, where we came from to where we're at today. And so we're going to walk you through that. And we're going to talk specifically about why this topic is important. Um, just tell me a little more right now. Uh, that's definitely not the time. I know, I'm just making sure. Tom doesn't know what he's doing, but we're looking for his vehicle. Okay. Um, so we'll be talking about specifically why this is important. I believe we got some different things than most people have to say um, on this topic. And um, hopefully it kicks off the conference for people to start questioning what they believe so for um, for the non-believers there to kind of pin them up against a rock and a hard place and have to choose and um, Christy you never heard Chris talk on the flat earth topic oh flat out insights definitely go check those out those shows have been on take on the world tv as well as um, I mean, come on. I mean, now you see TV. Look, if That's you, where you if can you go find to the Facebook page, if them. you go to Robbie's Facebook page, and he's got an image of all the speakers, I'm on the top row. How <laughs> crazy is that? Unreal. I was like, dude, why did you put me in the top row? I'm like three people over from okay. from Owen Benjamin. Okay, yeah. See, the see? lovely stickers oh, from yeah. Trader Joe's. Yeah. yeah. And somehow we still didn't throw those away. No, we don't want to use those. Okay, tell everybody what those are and why they, why we don't like them. Live on the air. Because they're satanic stickers from Trader Joe's. Yeah. Thanks, Trader Joe's. Yeah. Okay, we put, let go of them. And we're going to throw those out. Hey, I let go of them. All right. Throw them in the back. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, Flat Out Insights. Um is uh, why we did this. All right, flip the camera around. Here he is. He is, he is finally here. <laughs> All right. So we got London as a secret in the house. London uh, has a secret.com. Yes. Let's see if we can open up our doors. Hey, we what's are, up? We are live, hey. Take On The World TV. Through the black. Nothing like doing a secret show. Come on. We're waiting for you. I was going to be live. I thought, <laughs> man, wouldn't it be cool if I was live? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great minds think there alike. You go. How you guys doing? Good, man. On your way to Texas? We are on our way to Texas. Now, I'm so excited about this. I was asking Jared, he wouldn't give me a straight answer. I heard okay. there's going to be people from all over the globe there. They are all over the globe. <laughs> <laughs> all over the globe. That is the first time that Tom may have made a reference 
to uh, the sphere or flat earth. <laughs> he stayed so far away from this topic, and that may be your last, right? It could be. I don't know. You'll have to stay tuned. Yeah, the ne- well, the next uh, Through the Black, when Jared's on, like, how was the conference? Yeah, yeah. 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 So, we'll talk about it. Yeah. So. Marla says, hey. Hey, how you doing, Marla? Yeah, we got... Um, we got some. Oh, we were trying to get everybody to guess who we were meeting. Oh, okay. I guessed you right away. All right, all yeah. right. We said, um, we said the guy that does not want to have anything to do with the topic. <laughs> Tom done. Tom done. <laughs> I'm too busy. I'm fascinated by it. Don't get me wrong. I sneak and listen to. Uh, this is an to, exclusive. Uh, yeah, and listen to uh, arguments and debates and stuff like that. But I don't have a lot of time. If I were to do it, I would have to take two years off from everything I'm doing and dive deep into it so what are what are you doing i mean so what is your ministry for those of you who don't know th- through the black that are watching why don't you tell everybody what is your ministry and what you do and you know what what uh what you're all about well i uh i'm a lot of things i like to say first i'm a filmmaker but i'm also uh a i don't like to say deliverance or counselor i'm not supposed to say the word counselor but I do a lot of that. I, I Some days, like last week, I had a whole day of doing that. Uh, some days I make films. Some days he I counsels me all the time and meet too. people. Uh, it depends, you know. And when the need calls, we go out, we, uh, we do freedom encounters. There's people that have strongholds in their life. They don't know how to, to break them. So we teach them how to break them. We help them do that, you know. It could be an oppression. It could be a bad habit that they can't, something habitual that they can't break free from. Mm-hmm. Something like that, or sometimes it's something that's in their house, you know, things like that. You know, whenever we Those can, we go, we in go the back. out. Yeah. We got some stickers in the back that somehow he he got, and they're these uh, satanic stickers. Oh, really? Yeah, and I got to get rid of them. Wow. Halloween, yeah. Halloween stickers from oh, okay. Trader Joe's. <laughs> stickers. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, so what you... Um, you want to do an intercession with my son right now? Okay. Open up this door. Hey, Riley. I was going to pray for you guys on your yeah, trip yeah, down yeah. there. Hey, Riley. This is the guy that wants you through. <laughs> and then you open up and he's in this, uh, he's in this Chewbacca mask. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you put out some amazing documentaries um, this, uh, you know, over the last few years. And, um, you know, one that I really want to, you know, thank you for because you got us in contact with this guy, which was David Arthur, mm-hmm. and um, man, he's been such a joy to get to know, and uh, you know, how was it, you know, getting together, uh, putting together a film like that, which is such a, it's a, it's a heavy topic, um, and sort of, you know, probably even sort of out of your comfort zone in the first part, right, you know, to talk about that. Yeah, it was. Uh, I loved making that movie, but at the same time, the whole time I was making it, I felt like, ah, I'm deviating from what I'm supposed to be doing. This is not my ministry. I'm not supposed to be doing this. But uh, that wasn't true because it it fits in perfectly with everything else I'm doing because the groups that are opposing us are the, where he came from, mm. you know? Yeah. And the, the satanic groups are lined up, you know, with, this, with these groups and groups like the Satanic Temple, 50% of their membership is LGBTQ people. Mm. So wow. it fits it fits right in. Those guys are like the number one advocates um, for you know for these groups for we I mean we just say child abuse, you yeah. know, because they're trying to uh, fast track children to be able to transition yeah. uh, you know as far as yeah. gender is concerned. So yeah. Yeah and we uh, we love getting to know David and uh, he was such a he was awesome to come to you know having him come to take on the world and he'll be moving back to Ohio so we'll get to do a lot with him coming up so cool. yeah super awesome cool and um, obviously you got you've been part of take on the world since the beginning uh-huh. and um, you've got to watch that grow and we're in the, in the midst of looking for a new place uh, so we're, we're you know we got a new place that we're on this trip that we're gonna go visit yep. it's um, on the ride back what city is that in uh, I don't even know yeah it's it's <laughs> um, uh, it's by Lake Chautauqua no, it's not. No. Thought it's, it was. It's, it's not. It's not. It's by some lake. Is it in Ohio? It is in it Ohio. It is in okay. Ohio. Yes. Yeah. So. Chautauqua's in the name. <laughs> Chautauqua's in the name. Yeah. Okay. Just so, to confuse you. And uh, we've already looked at um, Heartland um, Conference Retreat Center, Center, which is in... Uh, Marengo? If I'm that sounds familiar. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty close. I, yeah. I mean, that's right by you. Okay. I mean, it's like it's a little 40 fur- minutes A little further here. than here. Oh, okay. Yeah. How far are you from here? 
I'm only like 10 minutes nice. away from perfect. here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this was right on a route. So right. This was perfect. Right. And um, I should have been here waiting for you guys, but I yeah. was like, I got time, I got time. Then I looked, I was like, oh, shoot, I got to go. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Are you trying to go to the post office? I'm going to the post office No, next. you're not. No, I'm not. No, you're not. You know why you're not going to the post office? Why? Because I saw those on the front seat, and I got a bunch of stuff I'm supposed to mail out. It's Veterans Day. Oh, and yeah. Well... I guess I'm going tomorrow. I yeah. forgot about that, right? <laughs> I saved you a trip to Thank walk you. up to the door. Yeah. Thank you. I thought, okay. Yeah. Sorry, guys. If you're waiting so on your th- hoodie, hooded sweatshirts, it's going to yeah. be another day. And you know what? That means we got to, we snagged a few more minutes with Tom because he's like, I got to get to the post office. Yeah. I got, no, no, we got two more minutes. Tom, everybody wants us to kidnap you and take you with us. Oh, dude. Yeah. I would love to go. I love going to Texas. Now, are you guys going to Dallas? Yeah. yeah. Okay, what's the... Um, is it Dallas Fort Worth or is it somewhere different or it's um we're actually gonna be staying in Plano but it's Frisco oh, okay yeah and uh, it's right and it's right uh, it's really close to the um, the JFK it's not far okay. not far yeah. yeah yeah I love I've been going to the conference down there um, the take on the world conference for the last few years I probably won't go this year it, what was it called not taking the world. <laughs> yeah. Here the watchman. Here the watchman. I can't keep my conferences yeah. straight. And here the watchman. So many of them. And, and here the watchman is where you met Nathan Reynolds for the first yes. time. Yes. And so what do we have in the back, guys? We got all of Nathan's Nathan books. In there. Oh. Well, yeah. in there. But Nathan is closing that out would this be an awesome conference. car ride. Yeah. Right. So Nathan is closing out FEIC this year. Yep. And he and so there's going to be a really strong presence on uh, spiritual warfare, the gospel. Um, and finding the creator through creation. That is the premise of FEIC this year. Mm-hmm. So no matter where you stand on this topic, all of those things, the three things, believers can unite on and, um, you know, not have to cut each other down upon. So, you know, <laughs> you know, when they do their show, you know, I mean, Jared's going there to speak on spiritual warfare. Right. And Nathan, Nathan Reynolds is going to be bringing, bringing the heat at the end. And I was telling you guys what, what me and Michael are talking about. And um, that's how we're going to kick this whole thing off. So um, should be really, really great. Should be a good opportunity for those that don't know who he, he is to um, actually have to choose. You know, do I trust that he, you know, the God of the Bible is the true one living God? And um, that is the point. That's the purpose of what we're there to do. You know, if everybody wants to get involved in, you know, government conspiracies, hey, that's not going to be our battle. Um, you know, so obviously we do know that stuff exists, but uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. So we're gonna grab those books. Um, we'll let we'll let you run. But uh, any any last words before? Uh... Hey Nathan, if you're watching, I love you, brother. I miss you, and uh, have a great conference to, to everybody down there. I do wish I could go. I, I'm gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of friends, a lot of listeners down there. Yeah. And uh, I've been I've been on the road. I just got back from Georgia and Iowa and traveling. Wow! And then I was actually up in Strongsville area over the weekend. Oh, nice! Is that where you guys are from? We're, we're, we're right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just took like two days with my wife because I've been gone for so long, and it's like our last chance. And you went to Strongsville, Ohio. Well, we were gonna go to Nashville <laughs> just to get a Nashville, weekend away, but <laughs> she couldn't get enough time off. So we're like, we want to do something. Let's do it out of town. So yeah. we went up and then we rode the, the scenic railroad. Oh, nice. So, the guy nice. Of the valley, which yeah. was kind of boring, but it's like, <laughs> it, was just, it was cool. It was cool. Yeah. yeah, it was like old people stuff. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's what happens. We're all getting super You are super so old. not an old yeah, well, person. <laughs> we're all I don't feel old. like one, but I did right, over the weekend. Yeah. So. yeah, and I don't know if you saw, we had Doug Kirshner on the show recently. Um, I did see. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so Doug was on the show and... Uh, talked a lot about you on their show and he talked he talked about one thing that I got to ask you about so he was telling me he how you guys met and he you came to some of his shows Mm -hmm. and you were there and you were involved in ministry that was uh, uh, with vampirism and a few other different things he was talking about so one we're trying to fact check to see if Doug is true well and he, I, and, yeah. and it dealt with some like uh, satanic uh, deliverance ministry sort of in that realm. That was like 25, 30 years ago. Like one of my first ministries was called the Vampire Outreach, believe it or not. Wow. Like, yeah, we were like way ahead of the game. So, but the idea was here's this extreme, uh, you know, culture, these, this extreme group that most Christians would be scared to death to, mm. to 
you know, confront these. And we, you know, that was a long time ago, but we were bold. We would seek these guys out to give them the gospel and say, hey, you're, you know, this, this is not cool, mm. you know, and there's a better way. And I don't know what you heard about Jesus, but, you know, whatever you're rebelling against, it's not true. So we would go up and, you know, we would seek these guys out, you know, not a lot in, in Mansfield <laughs> where I'm from, but, you know, yeah. um, that, you know, we started doing that. The, the first ministry is actually called the Violent Peace. And we had, we, we, we did a lot of things actually out of this town. We, we had our own church out of an apartment. And then we also had a ministry where we would help um, people with their car. Mm. Like if they had car problems, we had a garage. So it's kind of unique, wow. you know? Yeah, yeah we wow. did that a long time ago. Yeah, um, so Tom's been doing this for, you've been in ministry like for forever pretty much. I, start, I actually started in high school. And we had a very organized uh, ministry in high school where we would, um, we would minister to people, you know, uh, that we went to school with. That, just whatever it was, pray for them, uh, give them the gospel, you know, we would, uh, we would like have a day of the week or a day of the month that we would fast, save our money up and, and like buy Bibles, you know, mm -hmm. to give to people, stuff like so that. So now I understand why your skin is so thick when it comes to all the backlash that you receive, because uh, you've been getting yeah. it forever. We did this, yeah, like a lot of those fights we fought like years and years ago, so I'm just like, okay, I don't, yeah, I, mean, I don't care about fighting this. Yeah, I mean, Tom's anymore. like number one. Um, you know, it, you know, on the, you know, the enemy chart because of the London has a secret dot com. If you can see that right behind him, London has a secret dot com. Go check mm -hmm. that out, guys. Um, he's on like their like high radar. Um, so at the conference that we went to, the SRA conference, you know, you know, he, um, the woman that's coming after you, you know, um, they're it's just crazy. really big, crazy to see really big um, organizations. And here's your 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 name and your group through right. the black being exposed as these infiltrators that you that must be taken down by online trolls. Right, right. And the good news about that, the update about that, is they shut down their blog and they're no, no longer doing it. Mm. So that's nice. an answer to prayer. Wow. wow. So they and that blog was this kind of the center of all the trouble. There's mm. still people out there that that kind of uh, check us out and all that and um, but that that blog that used to write articles and articles about us and <laughs> try to defame us I think they kind of figured out it Are wasn't the trolls really still good. trolling really they're hard? still they're still out there but uh, they kind of lost you know it's like the you know the the head of the snake got cut off so wow. but you know uh, we're not uh, we're prepared for anything who knows what will pop up next but now you're still looking for, for help for real dark news we are we're looking for writers we're looking for people that want to do research that sort of thing so anybody that's interested in doing anything like that it's uh, uh, through the black at uh, connect at outlook.com I forget no through the black dot connect at outlook.com I hope my admin's not watching this so because I <laughs> through always the black at connect no 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 through the black <laughs> dot connect at outlook.com okay yeah through the black dot connect at outlook.com right got it so so go there if you guys have gifts and talents of writing and you have knowledge on some of these things that need to be exposed Write some articles, get those over, yep. and uh, they'll Tom. publish these things and uh, get these up there and get to get the word out and just start spreading them. I mean, that's, you know, um, the aspect of, you know, everybody's not maybe called to do what Tom's doing, but, um, you know, in so many different ways, we're, we're, you know, if you have the ability and, and um, you know, just to expose the darkness um, as we're called to do, um, and reveal the light. I mean, obviously, we don't want to expose darkness to give it credibility. We want to reveal that light at the end of the day. Um, and, and that's what's so important. That's what these guys are doing. So if you guys aren't supporting Through the Black, uh, you know, they got some awesome, amazing, like, sweet hoodies. Um, you know, and I've got my Resist shirt that I'm going to take yep, and wear at FBIC. Away. Yeah, so um, go out, support those these guys. They're awesome. And um, uh, the other half is going to be at FEIC this weekend. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do an exclusive interview with that guy. Um, so Jared, if you're watching, which I know you're not, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm going to get you on film. So yeah. So I think that's it. I don't know if uh, you want to keep it rolling, and then we'll uh, we'll gas up. We'll end this this first part of our journey this, and yeah. uh, let Tom go mm -hmm. back to. Uh, we were joking. You you were late because 
you were at Taco Bell, but I was like, <laughs> you could have been in at Taco John's. Taco John's. It's too early in the morning for Taco Bell. So. Do you, have you ever eaten Taco Bell? I have Bell? eaten Taco John's. I okay. prefer Ta Taco Bell. Taco ah. Bell over Taco John's. What, what's the difference? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, blind loyalty. You okay, know? blind loyalty. Because yeah. <laughs> this looks like a little bit more classier of a joint. Yeah, yeah, it could be. You know, I will say this. The Taco Bell that I regularly visit is going downhill, and I think it's because oh. the management is they, they slipped on that. I think I'm gonna make a complaint because they're gonna lose some business. Because yeah. I have one by my house. And he and still I, eats the food there. Yeah. <laughs> it's all going and down. I go I go out of my way to go to the one that's further away because it was a good one, but not so much anymore. So Taco Bell. Um, <laughs> we're trying to get time to live a little longer to keep. That's doing the it. one thing I don't want to talk about with you guys. <laughs> I thought about, okay, we're meeting at Taco Bell. We'll have John's. an intervention Hopefully he doesn't soon. Bring it up. Yeah. yeah, there it is. There I need is. one. There it is. No, but in all, a, yeah. in all honesty, uh, you know, when I, got, when I got issues, I call Tom. And then when he's and then when he wants to talk about health, he calls me. So yep. it's, a, it's a good trade-off. So um, I don't know who's winning that battle, but I think this guy is. Because I, I got more problems than... than I don't uh, know about that. Oh, no, but. Taco Bell's food. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hey, we'll, we'll we'll be back. We'll be doing some like live music stuff, um, maybe some '80s, '90s fun stuff. We'll be doing um, just more updates on things that are going. So, like this, subscribe, check us out, all those things. I really don't care about. So, we'll be back. And Liz, if you got any last words, say it. Oh, we're good. See ya. See ya. Hey, see ya. All right, let's load up. <laughs>